Welcome to the deep dive. Today we're uh, navigating some really tricky territory in AI development. Yeah, areas where there aren't really any easy answers, are there? Exactly. Think about, well, like a self-driving car, okay? Suddenly it's in a situation, an unavoidable accident. Does it swerve towards, say, a pedestrian? Or does it protect the people inside the car, potentially a greater risk to others? It's a horrible choice. It really is. And, you know, what rules should guide that AI in that split second? What principles? And beyond that, who's responsible? I mean, when an AI makes that kind of decision, who carries the blame? Right. And these aren't just like philosophical puzzles. They have real world impact. Absolutely. Take AI in hiring, for instance. Companies use it to sift through tons of applications. Saves time, seems efficient. It can be. But these systems learn from data. And sometimes, well, that data reflects existing biases, you know, patterns already out there in the world. So the AI might pick up on those patterns without anyone meaning for it to. Precisely. It could start maybe favoring certain types of candidates just based on the data it learned from. And that means potentially overlooking really talented people. Exactly. People who are perfectly qualified, maybe even more qualified, but they don't fit the pattern the AI mistakenly learned was ideal. That feels fundamentally unfair, doesn't it? Not being judged on your skills, but on some hidden bias in an algorithm. It really does. And that's why understanding these challenges, these dilemmas in AI is so important for you listening right now. Yeah, because AI isn't some far off future thing. It's here. It's influencing the apps you use, the news you see. Uh, you might even get your next job. So if we don't grapple with these ethical questions now, we could end up building tech that, well, causes harm or reinforces unfairness. But look, there's a positive side, too. If we do think carefully about this stuff, we can actually guide AI in a better direction. You mean, like, design it to be actively helpful? Yes. Imagine self-driving cars that are programmed with really robust safety ethics that could genuinely make roads safer for everyone, fewer accidents overall. OK, I see. And the hiring example. Well, if we design hiring AI thoughtfully, maybe focusing on specific skills and blinding it to irrelevant factors, it could actually lead to fairer hiring, more diverse teams, better results. So it's about being intentional with the ethics during development. Exactly. It's about building AI that reflects the values we want to see. Okay, so how do we make that happen? How do we encourage that kind of positive development? Well, one big part is just having open conversations, talking about these dilemmas. Like laying out the rules before you play a game so everyone knows what's fair. Sort of, yeah. We need to discuss what decisions AI should and shouldn't make and why. Bring these issues out into the open. That makes sense. What else? We also need to think about um, guidelines, frameworks for developing AI responsibly. Not necessarily rigid laws that stifle innovation, but guardrails. Exactly, guardrails. Think about rules to specifically prevent bias in hiring AI, for example. Just common sense checks to promote societal good. And what about for you, the listener? What role can you play? Educating yourself is huge. The more you understand about how AI works, its potential, and its pitfalls. The better you can judge the systems you interact with. Yes. You can ask better questions, demand more transparency, push for fairer systems. You become part of that conversation we were just talking about. So it's not just for developers and ethicists. It's for everyone. Absolutely. We all have a stake in this. So maybe the thing to really think about leaving this deep dive is what kind of future do we want AI to help build? And how do we make sure the choices being made now lead us there? That's the core question, really. Getting the ethics right today shapes the world of tomorrow. Mm -hmm.